through a process called electrolysis, water can be turned into life-giving oxygen and rocket fuel needed to bring us home. Let me show you how it's done. So, this is our electrolysis device. It's got a couple of plates here. We're gonna connect those to a battery and then we're gonna pass electricity through some distilled water. So distilled water is just hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, goggles. We're gonna put some gloves on. And then we're gonna put a little bit of sodium hydroxide, which gives us a catalyst that just makes this process work even faster. Do him up nice and tight. And we've got the pipe that's gonna go into this soapy water. And this is simply so that we can make some bubbles so that we can see hydrogen and oxygen gas. The electrolysis of water is sometimes called water splitting. That's because when you apply a big enough electrical current to water, it splits the water molecule open into its component parts, two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. As the electrical current passes from the negative to the positive terminal, gases start forming at the electrodes. And look at that. We've got each of those plates bubbling like mad, producing hydrogen and oxygen. So if we can split the water when we get to Mars, we can produce hydrogen and oxygen, which gives us oxygen to breathe, and it gives us hydrogen and oxygen to recombine, which is a very powerful rocket fuel. Rockets like NASA's Space Launch System are powered by more than two million litres of highly combustible, supercooled liquid hydrogen and oxygen. And that's just enough to get you off the ground. You'll need to make some more when you get to Mars if you want to come home again. If I can capture some of these gases in this bottle, I'll have made my own homemade rocket ship. As you can see, I mean, we achieved something, but uh, we've got a long way to go before we're going to get to Mars. So, with the help of this 300-year-old invention, water is the solution to getting us something to breathe and the rocket fuel to get us home. Mm -hmm.